so much for letting me join you here today and enjoy Dolphin Adventures! <laughs> And then we have Sandy, who's our oldest dolphin. She is 44 years young, and she is an incredible dolphin for all these younger ones to learn from in the show, what to do following with her. She's coming right by the glass, followed by, I think that's, yeah, Bullet. Bullet's right behind her. And you guys are about to see 
something pretty incredible, which are our pilot whales. So we do have two pilot whales that live here at Dolphin Adventures, and we are just beginning to socialize them with our dolphins. So this is something that you don't see often. Now this is really, really cool to um, witness and see how our dolphins and pilot whales work together. They're very, very closely related, both in the dolphin family, and they have been able to do presentations together, which is so exciting. Well, all these animals you are seeing are such amazing ambassadors to their species, and I would love to introduce one of my dolphin friends to Martin. Is that you, bud? All right, come on down here. I'm gonna set this up for you. Hop right up there, Martin, and Sandy is gonna come out to say hi. Oh my goodness, all right, Martin. Let's give her a big wave, you ready? Both hands up and wave. Oh, good job, Martin. Well, Sandy is very, very smart. She's really good at passing along secret messages. Would you like her to tell you one? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put both fingers up like this and you're gonna bounce them up and down, okay? Give her that signal. Go for it, bud. Bounce up. Would you like me to translate that message for you? She said, e, 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 e. Do it that one, you will. Now, I'm gonna ask Sandy to sit right here for us and what I want you to do is reach down and touch her dorsal fin right here, bud. Go for it. What do you think she feels like? Like a dolphin. <laughs> that is exactly right. All right, Sandy's got some dance moves she wants to show off. Would you like to dance with us? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this way, put that right hand up, put it in a fist, she's gonna bounce it up and down. You ready? Let's groove. Very nice job. All right, well, I want you to feed her a squid here to tell her, thanks so much for coming out to meet me, okay? Hold it up real high, Martin, and just drop it in her mouth. Good job, buddy. Let's do one more. All right, Martin, come on down these steps. We do have one a little problem. We're not done yet. I want you to smell those hands for me. Oh. Pretty fishy. All right, so I'm going to show you how we as trainers get rid of that smell, okay? Everyone can join along if they like. Please help us out. Martin, you're going to slap your hands together. Rub them real fast. Even faster, you got this. And wipe them on that shirt <laughs> Oh no, that's not good, is it Sandy? It's not good. <laughs> okay, well, let's get a quick photo of you and Sandy before we're done. I want you to put your back right against this pane of glass right here, bud. You're gonna face that audience, and Sandy is just gonna wave behind you with her tail, okay? Here, scoot a little forward for me. There you go. And I'm just gonna ask Sandy to wave behind you. I'm just gonna get out of your photo. Oh. you just met. Now both of our pilot whales are rescues, which means they have their own distinct personalities, but the same amazing story. One of the best parts of getting to work with them so closely is getting to know them. So I'd like to take this moment to tell you all a little bit more about Ava and Piper. Ava and Piper were part of the mass stranding of 22 pilot whales that took place off the coast of Florida back in 2012. At the time of their rescue, they were estimated to be only three to six months old and they weighed only 300 pounds. For context, that's smaller than our smallest bottlenose dolphin here at Dolphin Stadium. After their rescue, they were taken to SeaWorld Orlando for around the clock care and rehabilitation with intent of, rele of releasing them back into the wild. But because of their age at the time of rescue, they were deemed unreleasable by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. Now, pilot whales definitely have a zest for life. They're playful and curious. One of the best ways we can build our relationships with them is through a little bit of playtime. So please enjoy this very special playtime with our pilot whales, some of our dolphins, and their trainers.
just yet. But before we do that, I would love to pay special recognition to a team that works tirelessly behind the scenes here at SeaWorld. And that is our SeaWorld San Diego Rescue Team. In fact, since opening its doors over 58 years ago, SeaWorld has come to the aid of over 40,000 animals company-wide. And right here at SeaWorld San Diego, we were able to rescue over 500 animals last year alone. We couldn't have done this without our rescue team and of course, support from all of you. So thank you all for being here today. You all deserve a huge round of applause. Now guys, don't go anywhere just yet because we are gonna be bringing out our entire pod of 15 bottlenose dolphins out here for our finale to do behaviors that you have yet to see. But if you do need to leave before the presentation is over, we ask that you exit up and out towards the back for our safety, our animal safety, and of course, all of your safety. Now, as our amazing animals make their way back out, we hope that they can inspire you to protect the oceans that surround us. Not just for us, but for generations to come. Reducing, reusing, and recycling are great ways to prevent trash from making its way into animal habitats. You can also join or organize your own community cleanups. Small things like this add up to make a huge difference. Just by being here today, it shows your love for animals. We hope that you can join us in our commitment to protect the land, seas, skies, and of course, all of its amazing animals. Now, before we get to our grand finale, I would like to point out a couple special dolphins we have here at Dolphin Stadium, which include Coco and Monokai, for some of our highest flyers to make sure to keep an eye out for them. Well, it looks like the game is all here, and that means it's time for some more fun. So let's live it up, because the world is ours. From the sky to the sea, to the air that we breathe, from the depths of the earth to the stars. Looking at the end. 